The digital marketplace is changing fast. It exploded during the pandemic and it's holding strong. Whether you're ready to take your brand online for the first time, or you're looking for ways to use e-commerce to complement your brick and mortar sales, you've got some decisions to make. So just what are your options? And what are the pros and cons of some of the most popular platforms? Well, we've got you covered. Before you start weighing the potential benefits of different platforms, it's a good idea to answer these three questions. What are you selling? Who is your audience? And what are your goals? You're gonna wanna root these answers down in some solid consumer research rather than basing them on instincts. If you need help with this step, take a quick screenshot. Now, once you've got that foundation, let's break down the potential costs and benefits of today's leading e-com players. Let's start with Walmart. Walmart was an early adopter of the buy online, pick up in-store shopping model that gained traction during the pandemic and has remained popular with shoppers who don't wanna wait for two day shipping. In addition to the goods that it sells in physical retail locations, walmart.com includes a vast digital marketplace that hosts thousands of third party sellers. The application process for becoming a seller is relatively fast and simple, and these brands can leverage existing traffic to Walmart's website to gain exposure. So what does this mean for your brand? Well, if you're trying to get an initial foothold, starting with Walmart may be an ideal solution. Currently, Walmart is investing in a big way to catch up to Amazon. So early adopters are in a good position to grow with these investments. Even if it's not your end goal, remember that success on walmart.com is evidence that you have what it takes to be ready to transition from online only to an omni-channel approach. The downside, as of today, walmart.com just doesn't have the same volume of traffic as Amazon. However, Depending on the growth stage of your brand, this too could be considered a positive. Less competition in a less saturated marketplace can equal wins, as well as an opportunity to beat formidable Amazon competitors to the Walmart marketplace and conquer your category. Moving on to Lowe's, Home Depot, and Menards. These houseware and home maintenance specific retailers have growing e-commerce platforms of their own. And while they don't approach the volume of Amazon or Walmart, they are able to offer a greater variety of products in relevant categories online than they could feasibly stock in store. So unlike Walmart, the process for becoming an official vendor is more strenuous. These retailers tend to maintain a more curated collection of third-party sellers. First, let's talk benefits, especially if your products are directly related to hardware or home maintenance. These retailers' e-com platforms are a low competition environment where brands with solid logistics can thrive. The process of becoming an online seller is also a great way to get a foot in the door with that retailer's decision makers for when you're ready to compete for physical shelf space. The drawbacks? Because these retailers are selective about their third-party online sellers, you'll be on their radar for better or worse. It's best not to approach Home Depot, Lowe's, or Menards about e-commerce until you're confident you can fulfill orders and sustain your marketing efforts. Understand what success in the marketplace looks like and be ready to meet your goals. A lackluster online launch can really damage your chances of partnering with that retailer and brick and mortar in the future. All right, last but not least, the big contender, Amazon. Amazon is still the e-commerce king, known for its unbeatable deals and world-class logistics. Selling on Amazon grants you access to the world's largest consumer pool, which is a highly desirable opportunity for brands that want to scale and grow quickly. Amazon may not have an equivalent brick and mortar counterpart, but your success on Amazon still carries a great deal of weight for merchants and other retailers. Plus, the fast moving nature of the platform can make it an excellent place to test and refine your marketing and merchandising strategy as you prepare to expand into Omnichannel. So it's good stuff, right? It is. Not only does Amazon come with the broadest audience, but from a marketing perspective, it also offers the most opportunities like Prime Day, Cyber Week, and just the regular lightning deals give high performing brands a chance to really stand out in the spotlight. What could possibly go wrong? Relative to other options, Amazon is high risk, high reward. Successfully marketing on this platform requires a significant upfront and ongoing investment. If you pull up short, you'll most likely have very little to show for your marketing budget. So what does this all mean? If you're wondering why you have to choose, the good news is you don't. If you have the capacity and marketing investment to sustain multiple platforms, being in more than one marketplace is generally a very good idea. It's important, however, to tailor your strategy to each platform's unique audience and create platform-specific offerings. Taking a one-size-fits-all approach across multiple marketplaces can cause you to compete with yourself on price and self-cannibalize your own keywords and fall out of favor with retailers. For example, 
If Amazon notices the same SKU for sale at a lower price on Walmart's website, they may determine that they're better off giving your buy box to another seller. Offer slightly different models or even different color options on each commerce site to keep your product line unique to each platform. Vary your offerings and you'll be in a good position to thrive on multiple platforms. Ready to stake your claim in the fast-moving world of e-commerce? Download our Amazon checklist and get started.